Okay, so this is an introduction to how to use Nuplot, um, which is the basic functions in this particular part. So you open up Nuplot by just typing Nuplot into the terminal, and uh, we go. So I'm on version 4.2, but there are uh, more recent versions available. So what we do to, to plot a simple file, so we're going to start off just just plotting a data file. Uh, is we just type plot and then in uh, quotation marks we type the name of the file that we, we want to plot. So this file is, is in the same directory that I've opened Nuplot in. So navigate using the terminal to that file, uh, that folder, and then open Nuplot. So we're plotting symmetric d1p.out and you can see here that we have a sort of set of data points. So it looks like a line but these are actually uh, just a set of data points. It looks quite messy, so, so let's clear this up a bit. First uh, first thing to do, very straightforward. So we press up to get the last command rather than typing again. And then we just add with lines on the end. And we'll plot that. We'll see that we now have all the points joined by a line. So this isn't interpolating, this is joining sort of point to point here. Um, but it looks much neater than when we had that, that sort of scatter of data points before. Um, it is still a little thin though, so I think the next step is, is going to be uh, to increase the thickness of that line. So again we press up, and I'm deleting with lines, but only to replace it with WL. So that does exactly the same thing, where I'm just showing you this abbreviation. And then we'll go for line width 3. And there we have it. That's uh, I see a much thicker line there. So we're getting there, but we need to make this a little clearer. I mean, you couldn't really present that uh, at a conference or put it into a paper. So let's add a title. Straightforward. We just do set title. And then in quotation marks, we write what we would like our title to be. So what I'm actually displaying is the energy per particle. So it makes sense for me to have the title as energy per particle. So that doesn't automatically plot. I have to type replot now after I've set that title. And there we go. We now have that title up at the top. So by default it's uh, above the graph and in the center. You, you can change that if you want, but for the moment we'll, we'll just leave it there. We're now going to add a, an X label. So labeling the, the axes is obviously very important. So the X label here will also say that it's the momentum, and we'll pop units on that. So again, this won't plot automatically, so we need to do a, a replot. But instead, I'm going to type rep, R-E-P. It does the same thing as replot, it's just shorter. And there we go. We now have a, a, a nice X label. Once again, it's centered by default. Adding a Y label is, yeah, you guessed it, set Y label. Which we'll call it energy per particle. So I'm currently replotting after every command. You don't have to do that. What you can do is you could have your, your set title and then set your X label, then set your Y label, and, and then replot if you wanted to. Um, I'm just doing it one by one demonstration purposes. Uh, and now we have here uh, our, our lovely Y y-axis label. Okay, so we're on the way to making this a, a nicer graph. What we're going to do now is, is actually change the, the range in, in the y-axis. So we do set y-range, we'll put our minimum, so we'll say minus 40, and then a colon, and our maximum, say 140. And replotting that you can see that uh, that's expanded slightly vertically makes it a little easier to see than when we were just going down to minus 20 so we can uh, actually change where the key is as well so at the moment it's in the middle of the graph I don't I don't really like that so we're going to do set key outside right And bingo, there we have it on the right hand side. Now that's uh, looking much more professional. So you can set it basically anywhere you want. You can have uh, 
set key top left, which will be inside on the top left or inside top right. Um, you can even do set key and then give two numbers separated by a comma. And what that will do is set it at a, at a particular x and y value. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to plot a second line. So I'll uh, keep pressing up until we find our, our plot. And we're just going to do a comma. So we don't need to type plot again. We just type the new file name. It all, it all goes on that same plot. Now we've done symmetric D1P, so let's have a look at Neutron D1P. Don't worry about what those are, they're just sort of demonstration files. Um, so we're going to say that this one is also with lines, and we're going to set a line width 3. And then if we hit enter, plot both of those on the same graph for us. And there we go, nice and clear. So by default it's green, you can actually select the colour if you want. Um, but by default it will go red and then green. Let's um let's expand that that Y range again because we're getting some clipping with the with the new neutron D1P. So again we just set Y range minus 40 colon. We'll go up to 160 this time. And repot. And there we have it. That's a you know a very basic introduction to how to plot uh, plot curves in Newplot. Um, so, happy plotting. And this is much better than we, we had before. So now we can see a, a lot more clearly where this peak actually is. And that colour gradient really gives us a, a feel for how quickly uh, that, that sort of gradient ascends.